Hello, boys and girls! Welcome to Smite TV! I'm so happy to see you! Today, we are learning about the story uh, about a man named Peter. Peter was one of Jesus' disciples, and uh, one day he had this crazy dream where food was being lowered down to him in a blanket. Can you believe? Oh, look! Ha, we have one, too! Thank you, blanket! And so today, I'm going to be telling you this story and eating whatever the blanket brings me. Who knows what it's going to be? Maybe it's going to be good, maybe it's going to be weird. Who knows? Not me. Okay, let's see what the blanket has brought us first. Uh, looks like some kind of a meat. Some kind of a... Uh... Oh, oh, you know what this is? Uh, I bet you had this at Thanksgiving. Uh, or maybe you've had this in a sandwich for your lunches, yes? Uh, this, believe it or not, is turkey! Oh, can you believe? Does not look like turkey. It's because this is Turkey jerky. Yes. Let's see. How does turkey jerky taste? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it is very tough. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty tasty. I think I like turkey jerky. Now, back to Peter. So, Peter was this man, right? He has his dream. The food is coming down. Um, but Peter did not want to eat his food that was on the blanket. Why did he not want to eat his food? You hear a voice say, Peter, eat this food. And Peter said, no, don't want this food. Well, you see, Peter was a Jewish man, right? He was part of the family of Abraham, which means that they did a lot of things that God told them to do uh, about what they ate and what they wore and things that they could touch and not touch. Also, that they would stay clean and pure before the Lord so that the whole world would look at them and say, hey, those guys, they kind of live different than us. Why do they live different? And then the Jewish people could say, oh, we live different because we belong to God. Let us tell you about God. And so they had all kinds of rules about what they could do and touch and eat and where they could go and all kinds of things. And so this blanket that Peter saw was full of all kinds of foods that were unclean. That doesn't mean dirty. It means if you are Jewish, you cannot eat these foods, okay? So uh, one of those things that the Jewish people could not eat was turkey. They were not allowed to eat turkey. Isn't that weird? Okay, I wonder what the blanket's going to bring us next. Oh, here it comes again. Oh, here it is. Oh, look at these little guys. Hmm, what do we have here? They uh, hmm, smell kind of fishy. Look at that, you see that? You know what I think? This, this is little tiny shrimps. Yes, shrimp. Shrimp is another food that Jewish people were not supposed to eat. So God tells Peter, eat this food. Peter said, no, I don't want to eat this food. And three times God does this, eat this food, eat this food. Peter said, no, I don't want to eat this food. Um, why is God doing this? Well, you see, uh, there was this man, and uh, he was a Roman soldier. Roman soldier, you know those guys marching, and they got the cool helmets. And... So he wanted to know about God. His name was Cornelius. That's a good name. Can you say Cornelius? Oh, yeah, good name. Uh, so Cornelius was not Jewish. He was a Gentile. That means a person who is not a Jew. And so you remember how the Jews, they weren't supposed to eat certain things and they weren't supposed to touch certain things and they weren't supposed to uh, wear certain things because they were unclean? Well, guess what? Gentile people were also unclean. Jewish people were not supposed to hang out with them, not supposed to, you know, mix with them in marriage or in business or anything like that. They're supposed to stay separated so that the Gentile people could not get the Jewish people away from God, right? And so Peter grew up his whole life thinking, okay, Jewish people, that's the only people that God has in his family. Gentile people, no. But Cornelius, he really wanted to know about God. Hmm, what do you think God is going to do? Just leave Cornelius out of his family forever just because he's a Gentile and not a Jew? I don't know. I'm going to eat this shrimp and we're going to find out more. Hmm. Just like... It's a little bit like, uh, very fishy, very, um, hmm, kind of sushi-y. Ooh, very salty. Very salty, yes. Oh, okay. feel like I'm having, I don't know, maybe a fish sandwich from a gas station or something. That one was not good. Okay. I wonder what else the blanket has for us. Blanket! Oh, here you are. Hey, hello, blanket! Okay. Why? Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. 
Look at this. Look at this. Do you see this? Look, here's some more. Here, oh, look. It has little, little tentacles. And the tentacles have little, little suckers on it. Oh, you know what this is? This, this is a shrimp. No, not a shrimp. It is a squid. A squid! Do you know this? A squid! Oh boy! It is so tentacly. How do you think this tastes? This also another unclean food the Jewish people are not supposed to eat. I can see why. This, this is a weird thing. Oh boy, okay. We're going to eat this weird squid and uh, see what else we can learn about Cornelius. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna bite this tentacle off right here. You ready? Okay, here we go. Oh! 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 It hurts my teeth. It is so crunchy. Squid is not supposed to be crunchy. Oh, very inky and briny. No, Smite is not like this. Oh, so anyway, Cornelius, right? He needs to know about God. Nobody will tell him about God, so he prays. Dear Lord, send somebody to me to teach me about you. And God said, hey, I know a guy. I'm going to send him to you. Actually, you're going to send somebody to him. So God tells Cornelius where to find Peter. Cornelius sends some of his servants to Peter's house. Now, what do you think Peter would say? If Gentile people come to him and say, hey, we are not Jews, but we want to know about God. Peter, he is Jewish. He would say, no, 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 no. Knowing about God is only for the Jews. I am sorry. You are Gentiles. You cannot know. But God had already sent Peter this food in the blanket three times. What do you think God is telling to Peter? Do you think God is really telling to Peter, hey, eat this food. It's weird and you're not supposed to eat it, but I want you to eat it. No, 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 no. God tells to Peter, do not call what is, what I call clean, do not call it unclean, right? God says to Peter, do not call what I call clean, unclean. Huh. Huh. So maybe, maybe God is not trying to get Peter to eat these weird things. Maybe God is trying to get Peter to change the way he think about who can be in God's family, huh? Maybe the food is just a, uh, how you say, metaphor, huh? Ooh. For the fact that God is gonna start letting everybody be part of his family now, not just the Jewish people. Hmm, hmm, this is a good idea. You know what, I bet the blanket's got one more thing for us and we'll get to the bottom of this, huh? Okay, let's see what else we got. Do you have a guess? Oh, let's see. Oh, hello, blanket. Oh boy, what? What is this? This is, this is horrifying. Look, look at this, look, look at this. Oh. It is hard to stab with the fork. Look, look, do you know what this is? I think I know. I think I know this in France and fancy people call this escargot, escargot. You know, we call it here in kids district, weird snails. Yeah, yeah. So snails, another unclean food that the Jewish people were not supposed to eat. Oh boy, oh boy. Smite does not want to eat this food. Let me tell you. Uh, excuse me. Okay. All right, it's going to be. Okay, it's going to eat the snail. Are you ready? Okay, people eat this all the time. It's gonna be good. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's so snaily. It's like it just came out of the garden. Oh, okay. I don't want to eat this. I'm going to eat this just for you, okay? Don't try this at home, kids. Do not eat snails from the yard. This is important. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Ha! Ah. Oh! 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 Oh, tastes like dirt. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, somebody doesn't like it. No. Nope. No, no, don't eat snails. <sighs> don't eat snails. 
Okay. Let me tell you, that right there is not fancy food. It's not fancy at all. It's horrifying. Okay, all right, fix this dash. Okay, all right, so, Cornelius, right? Uh, he wants to know about the Lord. So, Peter, uh, he missed these people. And they say, we are Gentiles, we want to know about God. And God said to Peter, hey, go with these men. Tell them all about me. Don't worry about it. I know, in the past, the Gentiles, they are not a part of the family. But since Jesus has come and died, he opened the door for everybody. So you can go with these people, okay? So the food in the blanket was to help Peter to know, hey, you got to do this thing because God is about to do something brand new and you're not ready for it yet. Woo, you're not ready for it yet, Peter. And you know what? A lot of times uh, I think that God is trying to do a new thing in you and a new thing in me. And we're not ready for it. You know, we're not uh, strong enough or we're not wise enough or we're not, um, you know, we're not like Jesus enough to do what God asks us to do. We haven't got there yet. And we all want to be the people God wants us to be and, and fulfill his plans for our lives. But what do we do if we're not ready? How do we become ready? How do we become the people that God wants us to be? Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Just like Peter, right? He wants to become the person God wants him to be. Uh, I think it's, it's through this. It's through obedience. We do what God says. We say yes to him. And when we do that, oh, it stretches us. We do something we don't want to do because God's trying to do something that he has not done before in our lives or those around us. Uh, like eat the snails, okay? That's something I did not want to do, but now I have eaten snails. And I can tell people, oh yes, oh yes, uh, escargot, I have, I have had this before, it is. It's okay, you know. I could not say that before. I have grown. I am a little bit uh, more experienced now that I have had these, you know, weird, slimy things. And the same is true for you and the Lord. Uh, I, I don't know what maybe God is asking you to do right now that maybe you don't want to do, but uh, it, it's how we grow. It's how we become more like Jesus. In fact, that is today's bottom line, children. Ba -ba -ba! Say yes to God because that. It's how we grow. Hmm? It's how we grow. You want to be more like Jesus? You want to walk more in his power? You want to see more of his uh, Holy Spirit at work in your life? Start doing what he tells you to do. Hmm? I, I don't know what he's telling you to do. Maybe, uh, maybe you could clean your room a little bit or uh, do some dishes without even being asked. Or uh, maybe, you know, you could turn off the TV. Excuse me, got a little snail there. Oh, oh. Turn off the TV. You could uh, turn off the Fortnite or your phone or whatever and maybe spend a little more time in the Word. Maybe you could be nicer to your brother or your sister. I don't know. But whatever the Lord is asking you to do, I promise you, He's going to use that thing. If you say yes to Him and do it, to grow, to be more like Jesus, you are not going to start growing until you start obeying. It's true for you, true for me, true for all believers. Huh? What do you think Peter did? You think he went with those people? You think he did what God said? I don't know. Let's go to the Bible room and find out, huh? To the Bible room, let's go! Let's go to the Bible room. Don't forget to find the book first. Then you use the big number for the chapter and the little number for the verse. Woo! Hey, hey! Hey, what's up? Bible room. Woo, we're here. Oh, yeah, love the Bible room. Okay, you got your Bible? Go get it. We're going to read. Uh, so today we are in the book of X. X, not like chopping down the tree, but like the Acts of the Apostles, right? The things that they did. Uh, so we're in the book of X, chapter 10. And we're going to be reading uh, from verse 34. So go ahead and turn there. So. Uh, we've been talking about Peter and Cornelius and um, Peter having to grow into what God wanted him to do by obeying, by obeying. So, did Peter obey? Hmm. Uh, well, actually, yes, he did. He went with those men and he met Cornelius and Cornelius invited all his family and friends over and Peter taught all of them about Jesus and they all got saved and they all got filled with the Holy Spirit. Whoa, that's amazing. Not only because, well, God saved all these people, but because they were Gentiles. These are the first people in the whole world who are not Jewish, 
to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior and to be filled with the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues. Isn't that amazing? The first time God has ever done this thing. How was he able to do it? Because Peter said yes and obeyed and did what God asked him to do. So let's see in verse 34. How did Peter grow? What did he learn? Verse 34, Peter began to speak. Now I truly understand that God doesn't show favoritism, but in every nation, the person who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. Ha! Huh. Okay, it's so good. Peter is growing into more of the man God wants him to be. Before, he thought that only the Jews could be a part of God's family, but through his obedience, God taught him that no, everybody now can be part of God's family. The same is true for you and me. When we say yes to Jesus, when we obey the Lord, he stretches us, he grow us, and he make us more the people he wants us to be. Huh? Oh, that's good news. How can you obey the Lord today? Huh? That's a good question to ask yourself. From the word, from your mom and dad, from the pastors, and from what God speaks to your heart, obey him and grow to be the person you created to be. Oh, so good. I love it. Woo. Okay, one more thing to do today, and that is mail room. That's right, you guys sent me some great stuff this week, and I can't wait to show you. Ah, come on, let's go. Woo, mail room, woo, mail room. Yes, 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 love it. You guys have sent me some great stuff. Ah, uh, and the first thing you sent me, oh boy, this is fun. You saw this at the beginning of the show today, llama loops. Can you believe this is a real cereal? Oh my gosh, it is so funny. We got this uh, sent to us from the Howard family. So thank you to all of you in the Howard family sending us the good, good llama loops. I enjoyed eating them. Uh, our team here has been enjoying eating them. We're going to probably eat this whole box today. So thank you so much, Howard family. Great job for you and the llama loops. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. We had, oh man, we've done so many things. We ate weird stuff. We learned about uh, Cornelius and Peter. We found out that if we obey God, it's how we grow. Hmm? So good. So hey, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with all of your friends. And most important, do not forget, we may be little people, but we serve a big God. Bye.